I am a witness. A witness for the defense of humanity. These are the spoken words by visual artist and Yiddish poet Yonia Fain. I have the feeling that in the world of hatred, art plays a very important part because art is based on the protection of life and the protection of creativity. Yonia Fain knows firsthand many of the major events that happened in the 20th century. From the Russian Revolution, to the Nazi invasion in Poland, to the struggles of World War II and this aftermath. After the war was over, I was a refugee in China. And I had to find a new place. I didn't want to go back to the country I escaped to, Poland, because all my relatives and all my family, everything was eliminated. I wanted to find a place where I could paint history, not a landscape, not a portrait, which I did usually in China, but the rhythm of history. After the war, he lived in China, Mexico, and eventually immigrated to the United States. His works were displayed in New York galleries. Later, he was an art instructor at the Brooklyn Museum, then New York University, and went on to teach art history and philosophy of art at Hofstra University until he retired in 1983. Very recently, he donated his art collection to Hofstra University. I taught at Hofstra Art History and then advanced, advanced courses of philosophy of art. I like the environment of the university and of course I like the students and I had to find a place. I find that my, place, my paintings always and related to the struggle of society. They weren't painting, they weren't, they always had a certain element of historical events. So I felt that the institution would be the right place. And that's why I decided to give it to Hofstra. Even at the age of 98, Fane continues to create works of art shaped by his experiences. He strongly believes there is a purpose to his long life, to his survival, and to being a witness to history. So after the war, after the deprivation, after execution, after dictatorship, I had a feeling of freedom. I could paint what I wanted, I could say what I wanted, and I wanted to be a part of the life and the struggle and the hopes of the new world and being a part of something which I felt is very important. A country of hope and promise. His works will be part of the permanent collection at the Hofstra University Museum. From Brooklyn, this is Stephanie Brumsey.